Hi, I'm Nicholas Morton, uh, a member of the Royal Society of Sculptors, independent sculptor. I've been working for 35 years in stone. Um, I've done, I do handheld carvings through to very large, substantial, um, some would call this a public art scale, but still very domesticated in this beautiful setting at Bewley, uh, where there's a summer exhibition of sculpture, of which I am the featured sculptor in the Cloisters and Abbey uh, here at Bewley. So I'll just talk, I'm a hand carver, so I like my hand tools. I like mark making. I find interaction with a mallet and chisel actually helps describe the work so much more clearly. Uh, and in a way, doesn't over doesn't overwork it with a machine. A machine I often find takes the soul out of a piece of work uh, and can eradicate the crucial mark that actually is going to expound and talk to the viewer. So the piece behind me is, is a piece I made this year. Uh, it was shown for the very first time at Chelsea Flower Show, which I've just finished. Uh, and it's here for the summer exhibition at Bewley. Hopefully we'll find it at home. Uh, it's, it's called Leaf and Seed. The leaf is obviously the one at the back and the seed is in front of it. I see it very much as a cyclical piece. My work is all about fertility, growth and the wonderment of life. The idea is that the seed grows into a plant form or a leaf and the leaf then sheds its seeds and, and the cycle of life occurs again. And in, in sort of in a historic term, you'd see it something like a mother and child form. I rather hope here, especially at Bewley, that Families might, first of all, get drawn to the piece, especially later in the day. It's quite an eye catcher with the sun really beaming off, off the carving. Uh, you can't quite see it yet, but if you come closer to the side, you'll see it twinkling on the side here, which is the mica in the stone. These little twinkly bits is the natural, in the stone, the natural mica. It's, this is a limestone from Lincolnshire, and it's called Ancaster Weatherbed. My tutor, John Patterson, who, who went to the Royal College of Art, was my personal tutor when I was studying. Um, and he introduced me to Ancaster. I have found working it for 35 years and now projects and stone carvings I've made have gone around the world that it weathers also very well in many different countries. Uh, I like the idea that if I use this piece is like a standing stone story piece as well. So if you approach it from the rear of the carving, it it is a, it is a very elemental form. It's like a piece that you would have received in 2500 BC, you know, man would have gone, meet you by the stone. We'll go and meet by the stone and have a party or a gathering of some description. So it links back to my heritage, um, you know, the English heritage of standing stones and mark on the landscape. And then if we come round the back, as you've just witnessed, we then have the story which is about, as I've described already to you, th this idea of the leaf and the seed being the procreation of life, really. And the fact it's monumental, it's higher than man itself, gives it some gravitas as a monumental piece of art. 